Hi, I'm Elizabeth, and this video is my bread pudding with rum sauce video. Um, there's different sauces, whiskey sauce, lemon sauce. I like the rum sauce, so of course I'm gonna do the recipe that I like the best. So let me just tell you, first of all, what's in it. It's one loaf of French bread, and I've already torn it into chunks, and it's been soaking for at least half an hour. I've probably soaked this for 45 minutes, but you wanna soak your French bread for at least half an hour in one quart of milk and it's gonna swell. It's gonna, you can't even tell this has milk in it just to look at it. It just looks like a lot of French bread but it's because it soaked it all up. So one quart of milk, one loaf of French bread, two cups of sugar, right here, three tablespoons of melted butter, which is right here, one cup of apples. It's really, I use one large apple chopped up and that's right here, two tablespoons of vanilla, three eggs i've already whipped those eggs up but there's three eggs right here and then half a cup of raisins now i like golden raisins and so that's what i have here i have half a cup of raisins but the trick to this is i actually soak my raisins for at least an hour in the rum and i use bacardi gold that's just the one i use i'm sure there's other rums that you can use but i'm fond of bacardi gold so I soak the raisins in the Bacardi and they've been soaking in this for at least an hour. They're covered. So then when I'm done and I drain them, that's the rum that I'm going to use later to make the sauce. So like I said, this has already been soaking. So I'm going to go ahead, add my butter, and this is my melted three tablespoons of butter. Try it to make a mess. So I'm going to add that and my two cups of sugar. And really, I'm just gonna stir it. Whoa, I didn't get it all out of there. Okay. I'm gonna stir that up really good. But don't forget the milk. But I'm gonna have the recipe posted below this video so that you can look at it, get all the ingredients for it. It is. My bread pudding is literally something that if it wakes me up at night. If I keep this in my house, I'll be up at 2 a.m. eating it. So I don't keep it in my house. I make it and I eat some and then I give some away. I share. This is definitely a dish to share. Now that's all mixed up. I'm going to go ahead and put my three eggs in it. Again, I've already, I've already whisked those around a little. Mix that up also. And then I'm just gonna add my apples while I'm doing this. And all that's left now is to add the raisins. So what I'm gonna do here is just drain the rum sauce off of these raisins. Drain them really good. And then just put the raisins into the bread pudding also. This is so good, oh my gosh. You will love it, you will absolutely love it. Definitely give it a try. You know, like I said, once you've tried it, if you think yours is better, I would like to know because I'm always looking for a better bread pudding recipe. But this is absolutely fabulous. And this is as easy as it is to make. All I'm gonna do is take this mixture, just mush, I'm gonna pour it in my nine by 13 pan, it's already got some butter on the bottom of it, and then I'm gonna bake it at 350 for 35 or 40 minutes. You'll know when the top of it'll be kind of boiling and bubbly, and some people like to cook it a little longer and get a little light crust on the top, but it'll be golden on the top and a little bit crusty you kind of just eyeball it. It's usually between 35 and 45 minutes that you cook it. So now we're just gonna pour this into the pan, pour the mush into the pan, and it does look like mush. Yes, it does. Spread it around. It's very soppy, soupy, very moist. Bake it for 35 to 45 minutes at 350. You know, eyeball it, make sure you have a little crust on the top. Get it out, and while it's warm, this is something I definitely serve warm, and you're gonna spoon the rum sauce over the top of it, and we're gonna make that next. Okay, so now 
we're going to make the rum sauce, which is just yummy. So we're taking the, the rum that's left over after we drain the raisins off of it, and we're going to make the rum sauce that goes on top of the bread pudding. If you store this, you don't pour it all over, you know, on the baklava, we poured the sauce all over the top. You don't do that with this. You spoon it over the top of each individual serving. And if you store it in the refrigerator, you want to so store the sauce separately from the bread pudding and then heat them up separately and then put them together once they're warm. So I hope that made sense. It made sense to me anyway. But all you need to make the sauce is the leftover rum, which is about, they say it's three tablespoons. It might be a little more. So anyway, it's the, it's the rum that I drained off of the raisins and one cup of sugar, one egg, a half a cup of butter, and one teaspoon of vanilla. And it's just that easy to make it. Put the sugar down in here first. And then I'm going to add the butter. And this is, it's not melted, but very close to melted. Oh, smoke and melted. I'm going to cream those together in the pot. Once they're mixed really well, you just cream your butter and sugar together. And you could do this in a separate dish. You could. I don't. I, I like to cut down on dirty dishes, so I do it all in the pot. Then you want to add your egg. And then you want to add your vanilla. And then you want to add the alcohol or the rum. So that's creamed. I'm going to add the egg to it. Stir it up a little bit more. And this is on just medium. It wasn't, but it is now. So I'm going to add the rum. And I use the Bacardi Gold. I mean, you could use other rum. And then don't forget to add your teaspoon of vanilla. Turn that down a little bit. And it might take, I don't know, roughly seven minutes of stirring it over this um, pretty hot, pretty hot heat. Not high medium to medium high for seven to ten minutes just stir it until it starts to get clear okay so we're ready to pull the bread pudding out of the oven finally hot. Hot, hot, hot. I don't know if you can tell but it's a just a golden brown very toasty looking on the top you can see the apples and the raisins and they're all toasted I'll let this cool just a little bit and then I'm going to actually dip it with a spoon into a bowl and just put a little bit of the sauce over the top of each one. And again, like I said, when you're storing it in a refrigerator, store them separately. Heat them up separately and just spoon it individually over the top. And if you're like me and you really love the rum sauce, make double. I hope you enjoy it.